Hey everyone, I'm Nathan Pay and welcome to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Are you all ready for the most epic update to the Born List yet? Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to speed with all the great things that are happening with this project. I'm super excited to share this all with you today, as the Bornless just recently got a new update that has dramatically improved the aesthetics and gameplay, so let's jump right into it. One thing about this update that I really appreciate is the developers made a new section in their Discord for these change logs. This makes it easy for us to keep track of all the updates and changes made to the game. Let me summarize the changes for you quickly. Starting off most notably is the change to the shotgun where they've reduced the damage and increased its spread. This means you'll need to be closer to your target in order to deal damage, but the shotgun is still highly effective in close quarters, just not quite so much at mid-range anymore. They've also reduced the damage on the Tommy Gun and the Car 98, so it's an all-around balancing of the weapons. And a nice new addition is the Smoke Grenade, but it does cost 10 incense to use. I'm thrilled to let you know that they brought back Spectral Sight. However, they did rename it to Corvus Eye, but this is my favorite ability, so I'm definitely stoked about this. They've boosted the damage for the Hellfire Grenade, which is now also renamed Genna, and they've renamed the Signal Shield into Day Shield, which just sounds way cooler. And the addition of XP tracking and account levels is a great way to keep track of your progress. And let's not forget about the new server in South America. That's a huge win for players in that region. But that's not all. There are a ton of new features to get excited about. The combat abilities have also received a major upgrade with the introduction of the Aces Flare. This ability is super cool and I personally really enjoy using it. And the new visual feedback for abilities is a great touch that really enhances the overall gameplay experience. One change that I'm particularly excited about is the addition of fall damage. Finally, players can't just jump from the top of a roof anymore and adds a new element to the strategy of the game. But the biggest change by far is the new Orbis control zone, and I can't stress enough how much this feature really adds to the game. The way that it works is when a team summons Orbis, the new zone will appear around the altar, and any other team can come contest that zone. And if they're able to keep control of it long enough, they'll actually take control of Orbis, a super cool twist to the game. So now with the new addition of the Orbis control zone, it really incentivizes teams and players to rush that active altar at all times because there's an opportunity for you as an attacking team to take control of Orbis. And the custom keybinds edition are definitely a game saver for me because now I can finally customize my controls to fit my playstyle. The new additions to the locations on the map are fantastic, and the attention to detail with the sound is absolutely incredible. The new Orbis and Catacomb sounds are absolutely spine-tingling, and the addition of the new muzzle flash for weapons adds a new level of immersion to the game. Let's not forget about the changes to the HUD. I absolutely love the new crosshair and critical health splatter. And the ability timer is much easier to read now, which is a huge plus in the heat of battle. Overall, I'm blown away with these updates. The developers have really outdone themselves with their attention to detail and additions to the gameplay. Let's take a closer look at the spoilers for the new catacombs. There's also examples of new skins, weapons, the estates, and docks. The catacombs already looked fantastic, but now with the extra detail, they're absolutely stunning. I'm particularly blown away by the lighting effects, and as you can see here, even on the stones, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, when you're walking around in the catacombs, even just the candles and the lights on the ground are really cool to see. There are a few other things to point out, such as the fog or mist effect, and you can see here it's kind of coming from the ceiling. Next up, we have some examples of new weapons. Just take a look at these knife and pistol skins. It's absolutely incredible to see the level of detail that the developers and their art team have put into making these truly feel unique. But of all the aesthetic updates, my personal favorite is the changes to the docks and the estate. The level of detail they've put into the environment is truly astonishing. These changes also give us a glimpse of what we can expect in regards to quality and detail from future levels and zones. Taking a look at this other example, you can even see where the grass is slightly covering the photo. I'm incredibly excited for these changes. It's also really impressive to see how quickly the Bornless team has been able to roll these out, as well as provide us these detailed change logs for us to stay up to date. Personally, as I mentioned before, I'm most excited about the change to Orbis in the new control zone, and they've also made a couple adjustments back and forth with the shotgun, but it's still personally my favorite weapon. 
I also think the changes to the special skills are really cool. The flare was an amazing addition. I'm really glad they added that. I'm also super excited that they brought back Spectrosite, which is now known as Corvus Eye. I've personally been having a ton of fun playing this game. I know the rest of our guild has as well. It's really taken it to a whole new level with these updates, and if you haven't jumped in yet, I highly recommend it. Also, be sure to join us on our Discord. We often run Bornless games, and you're free to either jump in with us or ask us any questions that you like. If you've made it this far in the video, be sure to drop a comment down below, and I'm kind of curious, what kind of games are you guys interested to see move into Web3? Do you want more first-person shooters like Bornless? Maybe some more MMORPGs? I'm definitely curious to hear. And thanks so much for joining us today. Until next time, cheers. Don't forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway where you can win $200, and if you need more information, be sure to join us on our Discord. See you there.